Good afternoon, New London. Today is Friday, March 12th. I'm Lacey. And I'm Mr. Yetter. <laughs> and this is NLTV. Coming up today, we have our Wildcats of, a week, of the Week and a segment. We would like to wish a happy birthday this week to Logan Gerton, not Gritton, whoever typed that up, Thomas Leparati, Garrett DeLong, Ronnie Ohm, Grady Hyman, Robert Hall, Morgan Johnson, Bray Merritt, Tyan Osterlin, Michaela Giroux, Ethan Koch, and Jalen Kirshner. Applications for next year's yearbook staff have been emailed out to all sophomores and juniors. If you are interested in applying, please, please be sure to read all directions carefully and submit and complete the application by Friday, March 12th. If you are interested in joining TLC, please see Ms. Kuzma for an application. Holy guacamole! <laughs> Winter homecoming is a go! Due to COVID, it may look a little different, but we are making the best of these circumstances. We are planning a movie night with food, Kahoot, and a bit of fun. This is the first event since COVID, and we need your help to make this happen. Tickets will be sold at $5 a ticket. You can get your tickets from Mrs. Landis in the main office. Seniors get the first opportunity to buy these tickets. Tickets will cover two slices of pizza, a bag of chips, ho oh, ho, a bag of popcorn, and water. Seniors can start buying tickets Thursday, March 11th, juniors, March 12th, sophomores, March 15th, and freshmen, March 16th. Tickets are limited, so get them while you can. We will start off next week with the Spirit Week. Monday, Monsters, Inc. or Pajama Day. Tuesday, Moana, Tropical. Wednesday, Scooby-Doo, Wacky slash Hippie. Thursday, Back to the Future or Throwback. Teachers, 90s and 2000s. Juniors and seniors, 80s. Sophomore and freshman, 70s. Middle school, 60s. Friday will be Freaky Friday, just like someone else. Ooh, Freaky Friday, just like someone else. Might have to get the bald cap back out. We will end the week on Saturday, Saturday night with all our fun activities. From 7 to 9, we will be showing the movie, having fun, and winning prizes. Please bring your own blanket to sit on. Rules will be posted for this event. The Student Council cannot wait to see you and have some fun. Now, to sports. Next Tuesday, Varsity Baseball has a scrimmage against Loudonville. Also on Tuesday, Varsity Softball will have a scrimmage against Smithville. On Thursday, JV Baseball has a scrimmage versus Triway High School. The high school Overwatch team will compete on Tuesday against New Albany. Congratulations to the Overwatch team and Middle School Rocket League team who both won their first games last week. Next up, our Wildcats of the Week. <laughs> I'm here with Lily Raymond, our senior of the week. Lily, what is your favorite high school memory? Probably the end of my freshman year when I went a little too hard to kickball and sprained my ankle. And Lucas Asbury and Dylan Wallace carried me down to the nurse's office. <laughs> Who is your favorite teacher? Um, Mrs. Riley and Mitchell Kors, Deputy Kors. And what do you plan on doing after high school? I plan on attending Ashland University for special education. Thank you. What teacher is most likely to start a fire or burn down the school? I would say Mrs. Cordonia just because of the nature of what she has in her classroom with the Bunsen burners and all the flammable chemicals and stuff in there. Who is the teacher who is most likely to burn down the school or start a fire? Oh, Mr. Cam, without a doubt. Mr. Kinsey, um, because He's a little fire bug. Mrs. Cordonier? Uh, Mr. Parr. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Parr. <laughs> what teacher is most likely to start a fire or burn down the school? Kenzie. Me. Look at all the kitchens. Look at my goofy students. There you go. Probably me. So I'd say Mr. Kinsey because at this point he has nothing to lose. That's a difficult question, but I believe that Mr. Landis would probably be most likely to start a fire, and I believe that because the sun's reflection off of his shiny head might cause, you know, some tinder to light up and could cause an entire fire in the school. Ridiculous question. All right. So we will, are announcing today uh, that children of the state will have an extended spring break. Uh, the spring break will be of duration of three weeks, and we will review it uh, at the end of that. 
As we said earlier, the governor is expanding an order. At first, Ohio children were to stay out of the classroom and focus on virtual learning until April 6th. Now it's May 1st. You know what's wild? This 12th is the anniversary of going, I, I, and it's on the same exact day. Like, this yeah. Kojak, what do you miss about pre COVID? Nothing. Anything. I just want to go to Walmart and not have to worry about wearing a mask. Uh. No masks. Hey, so in the classroom, what I miss the most is high fives and any kind of human contact, I guess. And I hate the shields. I hate the shields. So I miss the room feeling warm and cozy instead of, I don't even know what the right word is for shields. So I guess that would be the most I miss. And I miss group work and I miss centers. So I guess I just miss all of it. I'm ready for normal. I'm ready. Seeing all of your faces. What do you miss about pre-COVID? Uh, not having to wear masks. Not having to wear the mask and not having all these restrictions. Um, in terms of like sports and everything, I miss packed stands and people everywhere, student sections and all kinds of you know, community members, people out supporting our students. I miss all of that, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> uh, probably the same thing that everyone misses. I miss not wearing a mask, partially because sometimes when I pass people, I smile at them to be nice, to be courteous. And when I'm wearing a mask, sometimes it looks like I'm just staring at them and they don't get that I'm smiling, which is awkward, but that's probably the biggest thing. Caitlin Detterman, what do you miss about pre-COVID? Going places without masks. Not after wearing the masks. I hate doing work on Wednesdays. I miss not being able, being able to see family. I miss um, going to Cedar Point and hanging out with friends like after school and stuff and like public places <laughs> without masks. Absolutely. I miss not having to wear a mask. What I miss before COVID is I miss going out and going to do fun stuff like laser tag or go out with my friends and stuff. What do you feel about COVID and what do you miss, Lacey? I miss having a regular track season and being able to like actually talk to people not six feet apart. Well, there's like no Cedar Point and getting my license takes like 10 times longer and it's not very fun. Well, I mean, I really miss going to Cedar Point, and yes, I know it's open, but like, it's not open full capacity. There are certain rides that aren't open. Uh, you have to wear masks when you're like on the rides or whatever, and that just doesn't seem enjoyable to me. And then I also really miss going to concerts and stuff, because something that I always did was I'd go to concerts with my dad, and that would be something that we would enjoy together, and you can't do that now. So. The things I miss about before COVID is I used to go like to the stores and stuff with my parents, and we would get all these things to have fun, like at the park and stuff like that. But now, because of COVID, we don't really do it as much. Um, not having to wear a mask everywhere, like being able to go in stores, like not having to walk back to my car to get my mask because I forget it and stuff. Any other big changes? Um, I didn't see my grandparents for a really long time. That kind of sucked. But. I miss being able to move around the lunchroom. Um, I miss music festivals and concerts, and I hate that I have to wear a mask whenever I want to go somewhere. My junior baseball season. Make it a, Make it a great day! You say Mr. Kenzie. <laughs> no, I'm Mr. Yetter.